Hey everyone, tac 14 21 here with another Minecraft Hunger Games gameplay commentary. And today I have a Fisherman gameplay for everyone. And in this one, I wanted to talk about Fisherman a little bit. But at the very beginning, I wanted to kind of link everyone towards my Twitch page. Um, I am starting to live stream a lot more uh, recently. So if you want to go check that out, link is in the descriptions down below. Um, that's going to be the main reason. That's going to be um, when I team with people. I, I normally team with people in the live streams. This is one exception right here. It was just kind of late at night and I you know, didn't really feel like trying to go like hardcore and like, you know, win a game by myself. So I said, you know what, I'll, I'll team with some people that, you know, know me, some subscribers, hopefully, and get a good team going on. So I said in the, in the chat, you know, if you want to team with me, let me know. And I got about uh, 10 people that wanted to team with me, but only four people actually ended up following me and, uh, you know, teaming with me. So, uh, but I do encounter a lot of people that wanted to team with me early in the game. I ended up encountering them later in the game as well. So things that I a little bit crazy this is a great game uh, i hope everyone enjoys it but let's get uh, on started with um everything so uh, first off I, I am fisherman and uh, you know fisherman's one of those kits where i i think it's not a great kit but if you use it to its strengths it can be pretty good and it can be pretty fun to use as well so you can see here i got a team of, of five going including myself we have we're a team of five five strong and we had all i had individual roles um i wanted to go into this jungle and get some cocoa beans so i can get some soup i guess it's called chocolate milk but I wanted to get some chocolate milk, and we also had a cultivator, and we also had someone give us uh, all some some stone swords. So everyone uh, doing a great job, uh, team wise, a uh, team oriented, um, you know, game here. So everyone's working well. You can see that we have a, a I think we have a berserker, a cultivator. I'm a fisherman. I'm not quite sure what the other two people were. I think maybe one. I think two of them were probably berserker. I think maybe one guy was ender mage. I'm not really sure. Um, the, Maybe in the chat you can see that uh, maybe someone was saying otherwise. Um, I think maybe we had a stomper or something. I'm not really sure what the other guys were, but uh, we definitely had a berserker and a cultivator, which is very nice. So you can see here the berserker gets a berserker boost by killing this cow. And I didn't want to get in front of him. Uh, he's obviously in front of me, so I didn't want to get hurt by him. And, you know, I could easily get taken out in two shots. So I just let him get the kill. And now it's down to 26 people. So that's very nice. I end up, you know, getting myself a, a leather helmet. And I always like to get an orange leather helmet. Since the new patch, uh, you can uh, color those those leather items or those leather armor. So I, I like to get an orange one. I think it looks cool. I, I just gave a random one to whoever wanted it and whoever, you know, took it. But um, so, yeah, I have a, a nice leather helmet. So that's good. I got some armor on me. Uh, now we just want to hunt more people down. Uh, we end up seeing this one guy over here, and I'm in the back of the pack, uh, but it doesn't really matter um, too much. So we end up, you know, killing this one guy. But unfortunately, uh, one of our teammates ends up dying there, so now we're down to four, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, you can see there we're Berserker, um, but this guy gets full iron armor, which is which is nice, and he ends up sharing it, which is always a great thing. Thing. He gives me the chest piece, which I really appreciate. Uh, but now we're going over to the feast. And while we're doing this, I want to talk about fishermen a little bit because uh, in my one of my uh, last gameplays, I was talking about my favorite kits as well as my least favorite kits. And I never talked about fishermen because I wanted to talk about it in this gameplay. And fishermen, I you know again, I don't think it's a, gr a really good kit, but I don't think it's a bad kit at the same time. And I think it could be used to an advantage in a lot of different ways. And you'll see at this feast how I use. Use it a little bit but you know, it's kind of uh, you'll notice that some people use snowballs to basically hit people back and this can be a really good strategy to hit people back and then hit them into their teammates uh, maybe hit them to lava somehow um, you know you could really use it a lot of different ways you could also be used to get food obviously uh, you can you know you can fish for food uh, right here this guy ends up um, stomping on one of my teammates so now we're down to three unfortunately and uh, quickly after I think one maybe one of my other teammates dies as well so now we're down to two so it's really unfortunate I do end up trying to go after this guy right here and um, 
you'll see I'm kind of failing trying to hit him. I get stuck into a lot of blocks and stuff, and again, he starts to uh, throw snowballs at me, hits me back, and I just want to go back to the feast. I think that guy's trying to just basically um, out uh, sprint me, out you know, just out survive me. He's not interested in the feast really at all. So I go back, and I'm kind of confused on who's trying to team with me because again, this attack. Uh, arcade attacker at the very beginning of the game said he wanted a team so I was a little confused on that I guess he doesn't want a team anymore um, so I just try to kill him at this point and I noticed my one teammate has a uh, diamond armor a diamond chest please and a diamond sword so I again using using my kit uh, to my advantage and hitting him back into my teammates so he can get uh, some nice hits off on him and this guy was good at PvP I do give him props um, I'm not that good at PvP, but that guy was good, so he ends up surviving that somehow, uh, even while he doesn't have too much armor. And that guy over there who was chasing after earlier ends up hitting me with a poison potion, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, so I have to use some stew early on so I, I to make sure no one comes up behind me and kills me. And my teammate is definitely doing a lot of good work. He's uh, kind of controlling the feast uh, right here, and that's uh, definitely very appreciated. Um, and the arcade guy does get a kill. I do get an ender pull right here. And this is another guy that wanted to team with me earlier on in the game, so I, I didn't want to attack him right away. And as soon as he goes to attack me, you know, it's game on. Uh, you're no longer uh, my teammate. But we do still have a team of two, a strong team of two. That guy is, is controlling the feast. And now I'm just trying to get some things out of the, the, out of the chest uh, while he's doing that. And I do get a very, very nice uh, chest right there. Um, I end up getting a, a diamond chest piece, which is always good, as well as a strength potion. So now I just want to help that guy out uh, as best I can, and uh, this arcade guy again comes up behind me. So I hit myself with a strength potion. I still don't have an iron sword, which is really unfortunate. So um, we kind of get mixed up here. Uh, I think my teammate is kind of on a low health. He's running away, so I, I want to get in between them two and you know help my teammate uh, heal up a little bit. And then I go back to the feast because I see that it's, it's, it's open. You can, you can get some things out of the chest. And I do get a very nice chest where they have a boots and a helmet. So just like that, I, I have pretty much full armor. I'm missing a chest piece, or not a chest piece, I'm missing some leggings. So I, as well as my teammate is missing some leggings. So uh, right now I, I want to try to uh, hit this other guy. We want to try to kill this other guy so we can get leggings. And I do fail with this poison potion. Normally I'm pretty good with potions. And right there I just kind of failed and uh, missed the potion completely. Um, so again, I want to heal up as best as I can so that I can take on that other guy. And um, I, st you know, I still don't have an iron sword, which is really unfortunate this far in the game. You should really have an iron sword but I don't, which is uh, not very good. But um, my teammate does have a diamond sword, so uh, I do want to run over here and, and try to kill this guy and, and get in between there and help my teammate out. A huge part of this game is positioning, so I wanted to position myself away from the lava. I wanted to try to knock him into the lava or you know, at least just knock it locked in the, not, not knocked, oh my gosh, a little bit of a tongue twister here. I wanted to not get knocked into the lava myself. There we go. So uh, here you can see he almost gets knocked into the lava, but uh, now he starts to run away. We, we definitely know that he's on the run here. He's on low health. So we want to now try to knock him into this ravine, and um, my teammate does a great job of that. Ends up getting the kill, so I just go down there. I thought my teammate was going to go down with me, but uh, they end up not, unfortunately. So I do get an iron sword, and I, I'm trying to make some bowls for myself. And as I'm doing that, uh, this guy comes up behind me. He was Stomper. He does get a few hearts off on me, but I do end up killing him pretty easily and um, getting the kill. And uh, again, I also got leggings. And you can see this dungeon right here. This comes into play a lot later in the game. Um, uh, I will eventually go back here, but uh, while I was in that ravine, my teammate ended up dying, so now it's just down to myself, unfortunately, so it's just me, myself, and I left in this game, um, but, uh, you know, I still think I have a huge um, you know, advantage in this game, because I have all this armor, and I, I think I can definitely go far away in this game. Again, I see this arcade guy, and again, I see this other guy, um, I don't exactly know what his name is, but uh, I see that those two, I, I both of them at different times in the game wanted to team with me, so uh, I, I wanted to, you know, still give them the option to do that if they if they wanted to, but I wanted to go after this arcade guy because he, he was trying to kill me a lot. He, he, you know, he had his chances to team with me, but and now it's, you know, it's 
no more. You know, I'm going after him completely. And this guy, you know, he gives me the peace symbol and he gives me like the peace sign. So I'm like, okay, I'll trust him for now. And this chase scene lasts a while, so I do end up cutting here. And he ends up running all the way to the force field. So um, I guess that was his strategy, try to run to the force field, you know, get some kind of, you know, cliff behind him. So there's only one way for us to go. And um, he ends up getting out the lava bucket. So I, you know, take precautions and I hit him right into the force field. I don't know if that was my kill uh, or not. If, if I killed him from the sword, if I killed him from the force field, I'm not really sure on that. I do end up getting the kill, uh, however, so that's good. And this guy, um, I was going to trust him, but then he, he rushes at me with a monk, so I definitely know that uh, not to trust him now. And I, I'm going to go right after him. Um, I can I can see that he has a lava bucket, so I, I want to you know hit him into the lava. And he did monk my flint and steel, so I quickly put that into my inventory so I can get that out. And I want to set him on fire somehow to slow him down. And I end up getting him on fire there. And now my goal is to try to hit him into the force field like the other guy. And somehow he didn't get knocked back there. I'm not really sure how that didn't work. Um, but I'm still doing a lot of damage to him. He's probably on pretty low health now. So I, I just you know want to keep going, try to uh, try to get the kill. He's on the run right here, which is very, very nice. He's just trying to survive at this point. And he runs pretty much right into the force field. And I get the kill from my sword. So now it's down to just a few players right now, and I'm just on the hunt basically, and I notice this person up in the trees, they don't have any armor at all, which I don't understand. At this, this point of the game, you should have at least some armor, uh, but they didn't have anything. And then I noticed this guy in the sky base, so I wanted to um, take precautions. I didn't want to go up there because I, I probably would die in that in that lava, so I, I didn't want to go up there. So I decided, you know what, go back to this dungeon and get some levels. Why not? So I get uh, quite a bit of levels. And as I'm doing this, the guy from the sky base actually ends up trying to uh, come down and kill me. I notice him. I notice his name tag. And I don't know if it was just lag in this game, but it, it felt like this guy was just had something going on. Uh, I'm not going to say he was hacking because... It, again, it was probably lag, and it was my it was my I st did a stupid thing by trying to uh, flint and steel snow, which I always try to do. Uh, I don't know, I just always forget. But um, anyways, this guy he was he was hitting me from very far away, but so I couldn't really get an attack off on him. But now I've kind of dug myself into this corner, and I want to get out um, of this little corner here. So uh, I wanted to make a way up, but I didn't want to take out my uh, you know pickaxe. So I just. I just, you know, TNT, I think he actually TNT'd that. And I know I'm not going to take too much damage from this. He probably took more damage than me. I just go up here. Um, I notice he doesn't have too much armor on. And I end up hitting him pretty much with one shot and killing him. So he probably took a lot of damage from that. Maybe he got set on fire. I'm not sure. But I ended up digging down very, very far to, uh, it was basically um, at bedrock. And I just TNT this area. I end up going down to try to see where this last guy is. They're just camping. And it looks like they're AFK. They're just, you know, had maybe the, uh, a button on, on shift. And I was trying to decide whether to, how to, how to kill this guy. I end up just, you know, hitting him with my sword. <laughs> kind of a lame way to kill the guy. But uh, nonetheless, I do get the win with Fisherman. And it was a very nice win. It was a very, I thought it was a very uh, good gameplay. So um, I hope everyone enjoyed this. You can see the stats right here. I do get seven kills with Fisherman. I do have another Fisherman gameplay that I will be showing uh, probably in a week or two. So uh, look forward to that. And I will see everyone next time. Peace.